Yes? What do you want? Well? I need to speak to Malcolm. It's very important. No, and quit bothering him. Yeah, see, when, whenever the woman, uh, when, whenever the, the other person in the cinematic, like, stops. Yes, what do you want? Well? I feel like that's a sign that we give them an item. I, um, I have something that maybe Malcolm might be interested in. No, and quit bothering him. So you can, there's the chance you can give them the key, but that's another red herring. Well, I, um, I have something that maybe Malcolm might be interested in. No, and quit bothering him. It's another red herring, huh? Okay, well... Seems like it might be hint giver time, if for no other reason than I feel obligated to just finish this so I can get back to maybe watching YouTube or I want to watch Akira later on tonight if I can find a way to uh, use my HDMI cord. There's something you need in the backstage makeup room. And there's some long cinematic sequences that haven't even been triggered yet. Aha. It's a Nickelodeon. It's a little. Damn. Little, uh. Old fashioned, uh, movie thingy. Stick your head in it. I mean, if I can get to it. <laughs> Jeez. There we go. Looks like it. Just might be another, uh, another, uh, plot exposition thing that doesn't really help move the story along specifically, but it's like a little extra thing. Oh, Jesus, I'm getting epilepsy just looking at this. Holy crap. Shield your eyes, fellows. Which has never been attempted before. The incredible Arno will defy death. In this, his newest feat. Featuring the horrifying flow of terror. What are you doing, Marie? Uh, why? I saw you with him last night. Admit it, you're still seeing him, aren't you? No. You're out of your mind. The act that you have all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Arno! I'm not sure if... Uh... Well, to me, it looks like they put a... Nickelodeon in there, and then, uh, <coughs> they put a Nickelodeon 
in there and then somebody added in a real like video footage to like scare Adrian that was the purpose of that either that or probably more likely while uh, the Nickelodeon was playing Adrian just had a vision a vision of Zoltan and Adrian So the girl in the greenhouse is absolutely a different girl than Marie. Looks like. I think that might be Gaston. Yeah. This whole time's looking at him. So Marie won in the end. That's not good. Literally murdered. Vengeful spirit of Zoltan stayed on. <coughs> Probably as a result of the his interest in the occult. To terrorize the uh future inhabitants of the house. I think this is the area, the backstage makeup area. Carno and Malcolm, 1897. vision of the corpse of Carno. Aha! Uh -huh. Something that we can use as leverage for Malcolm to open up to us for God's sakes. An old photograph of Carno. Off to Malcolm's, I guess. Figure there's probably nothing we can do about that loose end in the in the path down here with the the big destroyed walkway with the jump over it. We got Don doing the satanic ritual in the bathroom again. <laughs> and then Harriet leaving for whatever reason, whether she's a, a spirit or a good or bad, or if she's just a person. Ah, yes. We're supposed to give an item to the woman at Malcolm's. I was right. Starting to get the hang of these games. Ooh. 
Maybe you're using those keys for something, I swear. That and the brooch. Fire poker we probably won't use anymore. But, uh, because that was given to us by the game many, many, many chapters ago. <coughs> Same with the hammer. Probably won't use that. Yes? What do you want? Well? Here, I wanted to give Malcolm this old photo. <laughs> I found it at the Carnivash estate. Mm -hmm. It's a photo of Malcolm and Carno. See what's written on the back? See Malcolm as a young boy. Please, you've got to let me in to see Malcolm. It's important. Her caretaker, his Just caretaker is probably in her 70s or already. That means Malcolm's probably in his 100s. Malcolm 1890. So yeah, 1994. So he's at least 